Hey, hey, what is up? And you ever get that feeling like something's just not right? We're also out of coffee. <gasps> What is up YouTube, Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. Today we've got a PayPal request. This one is from Ed Armontia. Hey Andrew, I just recently found your channel and I love your reactions. I just sent through a PayPal request. I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan, having seen them live in 72, 73, 75 and 77. Damn. I've been watching your Bonzo reactions. Great to see a talented and trained drummer reacting to a legend that you've only for the most part recently discovered. That's true. But hey, I'm a fan now. Big fan now. I've got a whole Led Zeppelin John Bonham playlist and I've done a bunch of Led Zeppelin covers now to try and make up for that shortcoming. Anyway, back to your message. My pick is the studio version of Misty Mountain Hop. Must be studio. I'll search through your channel and don't see a reaction to this song. If you did react to it already, please let me know and I'll find something else. No, I haven't done that one. I'm really surprised because it's one of the best ever to show off Bonham's driving force and great fills, not to mention a great freaking song. Please play the official studio version from their incredible fourth album. I love the Green Sparkle Kit era, 7072, and what he did with it live and in the studio. Many thanks. All the best, Ed Amontilla. Now, Ed, thank you so much for the request. I'm going to get straight into it. I am, hopefully this is okay with you. I'm going to use the studio version, but I'm going to follow along with the Drumeo score. Now, you guys, as subscribers of my channel, get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at Drumeo. So, hey, I'm going to use those resources, and I strongly recommend you guys use them. It is an absolute game changer and for a request like this where you want me to analyze and check out the drumming and check out the song unbelievable resource ed thanks so much for the request let's hop to it all right guys i've just gone into my drumio by the way if you do join up or if you want to take my trial you can select all of this stuff on drums piano guitar or singing seriously it is just wild what is available over there at the moment and all we need to do is type into the search bar Misty Mountain Hop Drumio have got every single Led Zeppelin song ever recorded in this format you can just click on it this is becoming a bit of a Drumio ad but it's just unbelievable so here you can just download the PDF sheet music or we can just do the play along. You can slow stuff down. You can loop sections. I'm telling you, I'm a full time drum teacher and this was a game changer. Let's hit it right now. We've lost this type of production, the panning, the panning on those keyboards, hard left, the noise floor. <sighs> just got to go back. It's just glorious. It's just a glorious time for music. I'm going to try to not stop it too much more. Try. Original video link in the description of the video. Let's keep it going. Interesting, the keys doing this unison line with the vocal melody. It's quite an unusual rhythm and melody that's going on there on the vocals. And that unison line makes it sort of a little bit haunting, sort of really puts this sort of firmly in the 70s. It's really got that strong 70s sound about it. And when Plant was sort of screaming in that first bit, I just, I've never really thought of this before. 
I could sort of see a direct line from that to like the hair metal guys in the 80s. It really did sound a little bit hair metal for a moment. I'm not saying these guys are hair metal. I'm saying that I can really hear the influence in some of those hair metal singers like the Sebastian Bach or Axl Rose or uh, who else? Brett Michaels, Vince Neil. I don't know. It just, yeah, it just really struck me. I've never really thought about that. I'm just going to back it up. Oh, let's just go from there. Oh yeah, boom, bratum, datum, datum. Killer, killer feels. This would be a fun one to do a cover of. It really, really would. Let's just listen to how Bonham re re-entry back into the song. Well, re-entry into the re-intro, as you can see here in the uh, on the notes. Just so musical, such slick hands and just such cool ideas so he's always got a unique way to bring the band back in it's just so neat sort of, I don't know if it's double tracked or that at least unison line there. Now, thinking of influences, that doesn't sound like dissimilar to something you'd possibly hear from the Beach Boys. I know Led Zeppelin heads out there are going, Beach Boys! <laughs> okay, maybe you're not doing that, but how could I put it? It's something that wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that kind of rhythm and melody and style from the Beach Boys. Just a real juxtaposition of styles and influences, as always with Led Zeppelin. They're always going to surprise you. Always going to surprise you. Come on, let's back that one up. Listen to this brilliant feel. I was talking about re-entries. Check this one out. I'll show you one other cool thing. Just while we've got this awesome feel here, we can slow this down. We can loop it. Check this out. This is how you practice fills. This is how I teach and practice fills now. Looping sections, play along. This is just such a cool resource, guys. Get on it. Anyway, loop off. Let's keep it going. Actually, I'm going to hear that feel one more time. Like a ball on a shelf 
we've got some really interesting things going here on the guitar. Double tracked guitars sound like they're sort of in stereo, but then they're almost like soloing at the same time. So we've got layered guitar effects. I don't know what album this is. I probably should from looking at the cover here, but I don't know what album this is. Interesting production era for me for Led Zeppelin. It's a bit more produced, isn't it? I'm just going to go back to the start of this re-intro. can get away with an eighth note fill for how many bars one and a half bars of eighth note fill not even 16th note fill at that speed no one else only bonham can make that captivating and that musical let's go back to the start of the snare roll here Check out the displacement. We've been playing the beat relatively straight, but with syncopation. Always going to be syncopation with Bonham and Led Zepp, but we haven't had beat displacement yet. Check out the snare. You can see the displacement. Looking over here, hopefully you can see my cursor doing circles, doing donuts over here on the right side. It's bar 143, and we've got a snare on the and of four. Listen to the effect. Actually, I'll go back. So you get two bars, no, let's go right back to the start of the whole section. Super, super cool. Very machine-like, the groove. I would love to, I was just thinking I'd love to sort of beat map that out and check the BPM at the start compared to the BPM at the end because it felt just so chugging along like that rhythm section machine that people don't always talk about with Led Zeppelin. People often talk about, you know, the fiery guitar solos from Jimmy Page or, oh, Bonham, you know, Thunder of the Gods. Absolutely true. But people don't think of the lock, the seal on their groove. So, so cool. Now, I mentioned beat displacement or just, just displacement during that video. Now, is Bonham at band practice or before or after a gig going, hey guys, I'm going to do some beat displacement today. <laughs> so normally I do my snares on the four and then I'm, today I'm going to do it on the end of four. No, of course he's not saying that. Like that's just, you could look at me as making this like an academic summary or noting um, certain musical elements and pointing them out. Was he aware of them? Was he thinking like that? Nah, I don't think so. I think he's thinking music. He, he's just plain and I think it's important it's also important for us educators to think to, to get our information and our drumming and what we teach students from the music bring it from the music not the other way so everything like the theory the ideas the concepts that should be derived from the music just a, it's just a little sort of, I guess, a correction, like a different way of looking at it. 
I know as educators, and I've talked to many educators about this before, we love exercises. We love play this line. Now play the next line. Now do this look. Now do this. That's easy. That's that's a lazy way to teach. That's easy. Anyone could do that. You don't even need a teacher for that. You could just get a series of exercises and do it yourself, right? But what you really want to do, what's going to help you as a musician, as a player, as someone who people want to play music with, is understanding the the thought process, the getting things out of the music, playing music and not exercises. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. Hopefully you can see how passionate I am about this stuff. Ed Amontia, thank you so much for this pick. It is a great one. I have never, ever heard this song in my life. I assume it's not a big hit. Maybe again, I might just get crushed in the comment section. I'm sure it's a much loved song by Led Zepp fans, but yeah, I've never heard this. I don't think I've ever even heard it mentioned. Perhaps in the comment section, people have chipped in with it. I'm not sure, but I'm really grateful to get to it now. And I'm really grateful. It's a to- it changes everything when I can access it within my Drumeo. It just, um, when people say, hey, can you do an album version, you know, a studio version of this reaction specifically instead of the live one? Um, you know, I will often go to Drumeo and see if it's there because it just helps my analysis so much. You can see clearly structure, subdivisions, just all of the... It lays it all out really clearly and it just makes it much easier to analyze. So again, Ed Amantia, thank you so much for the pick and the support on the channel. Loved it. I mean, hey, it's Bonham. Of course, it's going to be good. So thanks again. Whole band too. Whole band just rocking out, grooving, lots of different ideas. I love it in Led Zepp. I love it in a band like this when the drummer is given space. They had that two bars where there was just nothing, just a hanging chord, and then buzz, da, 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 da. some type of re entry. And you know, with Bonham, who's got a jazz mentality, he's got an improv mentality, live band <laughs> in the room, recording, laying down a full take, they're going to come up with something different every time. There's nothing pre packaged or pre planned, you know. And I'm sure if we did watch the live version, you know, I'm sure these guys are going to be playing a little bit faster and they're going to be playing different stuff because you know what? Different stuff works at different tempos. So if you've got your adrenaline and you're playing in front of 80,000 people, you might play that song a little bit different and that's OK. It is OK to play with emotion and adrenaline and to go up a few BPM, match the crowd's intensity. I'm a stickler for tempo and groove. Sure. But there's a time and place. Again, I've gone off on a rant. I think it's this coffee's just set me off. But yeah, really, really dug it. And uh, guys, as I said, you, as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full 30-day trial over at Drumio. Without my trial, you might pick up seven days over if you go on the Drumio website. Follow my trial, 30 days. 30 days is a good amount of time to see if Drumio is a good fit for your learning style and is going to help you and your musical education moving forward. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month. You get access to all the blocked videos. Direct reactions like this one from Ed Amantia uh, via the PayPal link. And that is the only way I can guarantee a request at this point. Of course, guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button and leave me a comment with what you thought of this video and what you think of the whole Bonham Led Zepp playlist by this point. There's so much stuff in there. Go and get it. Guys, until next time, keep chopping wood. Ciao.